Hello, this is channel Layer Ace, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to make this good looking magic particle trail. And I will be using only After Effects, no, pl no plugins, no trap code, no, not a no any other plugins. Okay, now let's start make new composition I always make mine at 4k and 60 fps call this magic particle trail okay now make new solid this is gonna be background okay as always I will add full color gradient make this dark blue just take colors from the previous point okay now make this point little bit brighter and this little bit brighter too okay I can lock down the background now let's I'm gonna make a null object new null object this will be for our particle motion container okay now let's make a motion for our particles select pen tool and just draw any thing you want like this any random and it goes away from the screen okay now go to the new created layer shape layer go to contents also when you draw using pen tool uh, all these layers have to be deselected so okay now select shape layer that you drawn and go to shape path click on path and click ctrl c to copy and go to particle motion transform position and go ctrl v to paste and remove shape layer here you have it your null object moves around the path that you drawn okay now with position still open select this keyframe and drag it where you want depending on how long you want to be animation also the long if you draw for example to 30 seconds it will take 30 seconds to complete animation and it will be slower so I am I will make 12 seconds for example okay now I have my motion for my particle trail now let's add our particles new solid go to effects and presets and search for particle systems 2 okay now go to producer and open up also your particles so you can see a position setting and go to particle alt click position and drag this this shape to the position 
expression position to a position of particle motion. As you can see now, our particle emitter follows the null object. Like this. Okay, now the only thing left to do is work on our particles. Okay, go to... Let's try, let's try. What can we do here? Okay. First go to particle and select faded sphere. Color from white to black, birth size 0 0.05 or even smaller 0 0.02, depth size 0 0.1 for example, not too small, okay, let's make 0 0.5, maybe 0.3, okay, for now this will be good, go to physics tab, and velocity will be 0 0.01 I want really small, ve small velocity gravity 0 ok also go to producer and resize your producer to maybe one okay even small maybe one zero point two zero point two okay also on your particle layer select classic color dodge okay let's try color color dodge classic color dodge probably works best Renders quite slow, you can reduce the resolution so it renders faster. Okay, already looks like something. Okay, let's go again to physics. Maybe let's make 0 0.02 velocity. Birth rate, let's try two and longevity rate, let's try four, not too long, maybe one, one point five, maybe. Okay, that's let's say that will be good now to make our effect look more complex let's duplicate our particles layer by pressing ctrl d okay now i will copy and paste the same effect and change the setting so it will look more random now let's go to a random seat for example also let's go to physics and let's make 0 0.03 okay, maybe 0 0.05 velocity okay looks quite good okay again select particle air and Control D to copy. Mm. Change random seed settings and go to physics and again. Let's make 0 0.1 velocity. Space to play the animation. 
and it looks quite good what else can we do what else okay I will select layer and again press ctrl D to copy and go to physics 0 0.15 and go to particle and increase particle size 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 And now we can blur our particles a little bit. So the effect will be more interesting. Go to effects and presets and search for vector blur and drop this effect on the last created particle layer. Let's make 20%. Example 30. Okay, again select CC vector blur and drag on this layer. Also make 20 and on this layer too. And let's make 10. And this already looks quite interesting with the vector blur effect added on the particle layer and ok let's see how it looks at full resolution and that's it for the rendering I go to file export add to Adobe Media Encoder so we have to have Adobe Media Encoder and I, I always render my footage at 4K and 60 FPS or sometimes 30 FPS but always at 4K Okay, it takes qu quite some time here you have it I render in H.264 and 4k 70 megabits per second and here you have it we saw the settings that I render at and okay that's it for this quick video thanks for watching and goodbye